Hey girls, it's Wednesday. I've come to the glaringly obvious conclusion that no one knows anything about what I'm studying, so let me educate you. Wikipedia defines operations research as an interdisciplinary mathematical science that focuses on the effective use of technology by organizations. So I use a scientific method and I put everything together. The Bureau of Labor Statistics says that operations research analysts formulate and apply mathematical modeling methods to develop and interpret information that assists management with policy formulation and other managerial functions. Using analytical techniques, OR analysts help managers to make better decisions and solve problems. So the classes I've taken, like engineering econ and decision and game theory, they help me make better decisions and I can therefore solve problems in a better way. So the history of operations research started out in the military back in World War II. It was used to deploy radar, search for enemy submarines, and move supplies to where they need to go. In peacetime and in private enterprises, OR is used in business planning ventures and analyzing options by using statistical analysis, data mining, simulation, computer modeling, and linear programming. Linear programming is a course I'm taking currently, and it is basically linear algebra, matrix theory, algebra 2, you know, a set of formulas that have constraints and I have to solve for what x1 or x2 and x3 and so on equal based on the constraints. OR analysts such as myself, we reduce the complexity of really tough problems by applying these analytical methods from math, science, and engineering to help companies make better decisions and improve efficiency. The efficiency part stems from engineering since engineers come up with ways to efficiently optimize systems, or programs, or basically anything depending on what field of engineering they're in. So I solve the complex problems using the sophisticated software tools, such as setting up schedules for sports leagues or determining how to organize products in supermarkets. Presenting the pros and cons of each possible scenario, analysts can present their solutions to managers who use the information to make decisions. If this sounds really well worded, that's because I'm basically summarizing, if not quoting directly from these websites. OR analysts held about 63,000 jobs in 2008 alone. Major employers include computer systems design firms, insurance carriers, and other financial institutions, management, telecommunications companies, and scientific and technical consulting service firms. Most OR analysts in the federal government work for the DOD. Also, employment is projected to grow much faster than average for operations research analysts. That's mainly because most people don't know what it is. Jobs for OR exist in almost every industry because of the diversity of applications of the work. As business and government agencies continue to contract out jobs to cut costs, opportunities for OR will be best in management, scientific, and technical consulting firms. The relatively small pool of qualified candidates will result in excellent opportunities for those with a master's or PhD in OR or management science. The mean annual wage for OR analysts in Kansas is $85,000, $61,000 in Mississippi, and $56,000 in Florida. Kansas is number seven on the list of top paying OR jobs, and considering the cost of living in the other top seven, such as New York, California, Virginia, Kansas is really the best bang for the buck. My money will be worth more here. Now that you know what I'm studying and what I plan to do with it, you can quit saying that I'm studying some obscure thing in Kansas. OR is a mixture of math, industrial engineering, and computer science that is within a business or managerial setting.
Hope you guys are having a great week, and I'll see you on Friday, Sammy.